Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, November 25th. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we do got a bit of economic news releases scheduled for today. Tomorrow will be really packed uh, as we kind of... Uh, close out the week tomorrow. Uh, we'll start off with the GDP revision for the third quarter. So remember, there's three total revisions each month. This is the second one. And the first reporting last month was at 3.5. The forecast was supposed to come down a little bit to 3.3 and it actually exceeded expectations. So this started the uh, stock market off with a good uh, day here. And we'll so really good numbers right there. Cash shell home prices uh, for the month of September, we had a 5.6 back in August, year-over-year -year appreciation. And the forecast uh, for year-over-year -year at 4.9%. And the FHFA home price index uh, was at 4.8 back in uh, August, and it came down to 4.5%. Now, if you look at those two home indexes, they basically, if you look at the seasonal change, uh, basically at nil. So basically, there's no change whatsoever in the terms of, uh, in the pricing in terms in terms of um, the seasonal adjustments, uh, you know, people going back to school and stuff. Now, consumer confidence is a different story here for the month of November. We had a 94.1, and we were thinking people are going to feel a little bit better going into holiday season at 96.6, and actually reduced pretty big drop there to 88.7. So, not a good number there. So, stock market was up, and then they pulled back quite a bit as a result of that uh, consumer confidence because it because it basically caught them by surprise. So, but the Dow and Nasdaq are up currently, but the S&P is uh, down in negative territory as of right now. Uh, but another thing that helped out the markets here also was uh, Germany avoids a technical recession with their GDP report. So they came out with their GDP uh, had it wasn't great news, but it was uh, you know it wasn't. Uh, in negative territory, so therefore uh, they view that as a positive because their economy was showing some slowdown, and they're uh, they're obviously the largest economy in Europe, so uh, they'd be kind of keeping Europe afloat, so to speak. And if they came out with a negative GDP, this would have put them in technically a recessionary period, uh, which they avoided that with these numbers here. The bond market's doing really good. We're as you can see, we're kind of going upwards, which means rates are coming down. So we're currently about three basis points higher than where we left off yesterday at 103.25 right now, and that's you know for a price improvement in our interest rate. So we're getting this nice improvement. We're starting to see this uh, trend upwards, uh, which will give us better interest rates, which is good. Uh, so we'll kind of wait and see how that comes out. And some of these economic news have been actually very good here domestically. So. Uh, this is kind of a good trend for us that the stock market, you know, there's news good, good for the stock market, and you would think that would typically go uh, more money go towards stock market, and this would be at our expense of the bond market. But in this case, uh, stock market is not flying high with these good news, especially with the GDP jumping up to 3.9 percent. The uh, bond market's still kind of benefiting, so you got to kind of wonder if uh, there might be some overbought position in the stock market maybe that they're going to start putting more into the bond market and we'll get a little spike in interest rates but an improvement all right folks you guys have a good day uh we'll see you guys tomorrow again right now we're seeing we're starting to see a little bit of a trend uh short term here for interest rates and improvement in interest rates so this could be a nice good uh you know good holiday uh good holiday season for us all all right have a wonderful day we'll see you guys uh tomorrow thanks again